Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and keep you guys a little updated with uh, the new microtransaction system. Now this is available in the current 3.0 beta uh, and will be live as well on the Fall of Oriath release. And it's really cool because they have pretty much optimized your microtransactions so that you can use them all the time um, and it's not really based around like your equipment does that make sense so like let's let's explain that better so previously you would essentially take a microtransaction from your your tab use it on a piece of gear and it would go over that piece of gear later on if you created a new character you would have to remember where you put that microtransaction before and some issues would be like you would basically put a weapon skin on a weapon and then you would get a new weapon put your old weapon in the bank and you would just forget about it you do not have to worry about that anymore because the way it works is you can see where an item is in use and you can simply reclaim it. If one of your other characters is using a piece of gear, you can simply click it, remove, you can click it basically and equip it and reclaim it and it just goes right back. And it's cool because it's pretty much live. So you can see if I were to switch between boots, you can literally change your set on the fly immediately, which I think is amazing. I am so happy to see them doing stuff like that. Um, this makes it really cool for basically when you're leveling a character up, you can deck your character out and make your character look really cool and you don't really have to worry about switching your gear every 10 seconds essentially. And I think that's really, really freaking awesome. Uh, I'm so happy to see stuff like that. Pretty much like you can, I don't know, you can just have so much more fun I feel. It's, it's like so much better. There we go, let's like put on like Lunaris effect here. Like look. Look at, look at how easy that was. It's beautiful, dude. Let's go with a ghost flame set, maybe. Let's like swap around here, do a little ghost flame aru, maybe swap, swap, swap. The other cool thing, uh, if people weren't too aware, is previously in the game, when you would essentially, um, when you would override one of your MTXs, it would actually turn off your auras too. I'm pretty curious to see if it still does that. I don't think it would because it's not associated to the weapon anymore. Let's see, vitality, so that's on my shield. So if I were to switch my shield, it doesn't even turn off the, uh, it doesn't turn off the, uh, whatchamacallit at all, the reservation. So I think that's really phenomenal. Uh, and this is definitely one of the, one of the patches that I'm super excited for to see in actual release because it just really, you know, it's kind of a shame before where you couldn't really use your microtransactions when you're leveling characters up because it just it just wouldn't really be worth it because you'd have to switch them out all the time. Um, so this is really going to promote it for me and even just re-leveling a character I feel is going to be significantly more fun now. Uh, and I just kind of wanted to uh, run you guys down with it. Now one other thing to note is... There are two different categories you can search this by. You can search it by categories and you can search it by themes uh, if that kind of suits you better. And I believe the only thing right now that you cannot do with the current microtransaction system is I do not believe you can take away gems. Skill gems, you do need to go onto that character and actually remove them. And I do believe they said they are working on this. How the fuck do I have three Divine Righteous Fires being active? Anyway, uh, I do believe they said that th they are working on this. It's just as of right now, it's a little difficult for them. Uh, what else do we have here? Man, this is like so beautiful to just scroll down. I, I kind of wish I spent more money on this game. Now I've only spent like maybe 1.5K. Uh, anyway, that's pretty much about it. I just wanted to keep you guys updated with some of the new stuff that Path of Exile is releasing. Um, I guess I did actually want to skin something over. Let me, let me check to see if this works. Okay, I wanted to skin this over. How do weapon skins work? Is it still the same way? If I use a skin transfer on a frost breath and put it here. Does that not work? Am I special? Okay, cosmetics? No? Okay, destroy one item to apply its appearance to another. Mace? Mace. Skin transfer? Mace. Okay, do I have to take this off? Am I just... I might be a little special, guys. Let's try this again. Skin transfer? No? Uh, can I skin transfer this way? No? Did I, am I doing something wrong? Skin transfer, no? How about cosmetic, skin, oh! No. Okay, so, um, yeah, let's open this mystery box while we're at it, too. Arcane lightning gloves? I feel like that's kind of fucking cool. What do those look like? Arcane lightning gloves? Yo, those look pretty badass, actually. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, that's a, that's a pretty nice find. Um, so pretty much everything works then. I guess I'm just a little special and not really understanding 
this skin transfer for weapons. I'm sure I'll figure it out later. I'm probably just being a little silly right now. But anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. And of course, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. And I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.